Okay, so this video is going to be a little different. Today, we are going to open some My Hero Academia trading cards. If you are a collector of trading cards, then make sure and smash the freaking like button right now because I already opened it because I tried to record this once and failed and knocked some stuff over. So <laughs> we're going to bust into this booster box of the new My Hero Academia collectible card game. So if this is something you're into, make sure and hit the subscribe button for up to date anime and manga news. And the reasoning we're opening this is because it is up to date, a trading card for My Hero Academia and anime we talk about on the channel. And it's gonna be really fun. Also, you can follow me on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of that jazz would be very much appreciated. And I would thank you so very much. Okay, so we're only going to open half of the box in this video. And then my second channel, which you can get to on the main page in the featured channels, we will open the second half. I mainly do this kind of stuff on that channel, but because this is a new set and it's kind of, you know, topical for the My Hero Academia series, I thought it would be fun to open some of it on this channel. So here is the box topper you get. It's uh, just a normal thing you get in these booster boxes. This is the Go Beyond card. And side note, I don't know how to play this trading card game at all, but here's some cool stuff in it. Maybe we'll learn one day, who knows. I just wanted to kind of get into this like booster box and by the way, here's some like better shots of the box if you wanted to see it. It is beautiful and amazing. And I'm extremely excited to get into this. So it's by like uh, Jasco Universes and Funimation. So this is quite, quite the box. It's going to be fun. So let's get into the first half. Here's like another little quick pack you get. It's just uh, for the first edition of this box, this is what you're going to get every single box. And there's some absolutely fire cards in the set that hopefully we can get in this opening today so some of these cards are already going for quite a bit of money on uh, like the tcg player website so first card we get is capture evil doers and all my cards so this is pretty interesting and i'm trying to find the rarity on these i don't know too much about the set yet but i'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this one up and if you don't know anything about card collecting feel free to ask me a question down in the comment section and we'll get into you know all the cool things that you sort of you know you'll typically see with card opening channels like my other one it's mainly just for fun you know if you're a collector of any sort like me you kind of get it it's just fun to collect like things that are interesting to you with your hobbies like anime on this channel we're gonna do this so here's just the pack you can see it uh we get how many cards do we get I think it's 10 in a pack. So first edition limited printing. So this is gonna be really rad. I got another box on the way because <laughs> I'm a collector and I like to keep stuff sealed. So first pack of the freaking day. I don't, I'm a, so just like right off the bat, I'm kind of picky about like cards and like collecting. I don't like the backs of this. I wish it was just a little different. So that's just one little like, you know downer with this so we'll see how this goes i don't know if there's like a card trick like with pokemon but we're just gonna pop right in so there's minetto there is clever distractions and let's see if we get anything big hitters let's but we're really just kind of going for the chase cards in the set which there is quite a few okay so the last card okay so this is like there's some like holographic stuff going on if you remember anything from back in the day with trading cards with pokemon that's kind of what we're looking for with this and make sure down in the comment section if you guys do any sort of collecting or remember you know back in the day trading cards that sort of thing let me know what kind of stuff you're into i'm genuinely interested and also just comment your favorite my hero academia character i would have to say mine honestly is todoroki which we just got that todoroki card so it kind of checked out but he's just a he's just a cool dude he's just really solid character Actually, Eraserhead might be my second favorite or first favorite. I don't know. But like like I said, down in the comment section, comment your favorite My Hero Academia character. Let's see what we get. Erase and, ooh, Texas Smash. That is a good looking card right there. I don't know the rarities on these or how, you know, expensive some of these cards might actually be. But for the sake, you know, just for now, I will not look it up just to kill time and I'll put it on the screen if it's worth anything. I just go to TCG player. It's a website you can go to to like see prices for cards. You can also buy stuff. So like I'm sure if you go on there and search this, you'll be able to buy it. And I'm having to 
struggle fest opening this pack. Okay, there we go. <laughs> If you follow me on the other channel, you know that we, with these card opening videos, it's a little different than the usual uh, content on the channel. So we're not like professionals or anything, but we like to just get into it and have a good time. Okay. Let's see if we get anything rad release. Electric Jolt. Rapid Tape Strike. What's their plan? Eraser Head card. That's sick. And a Think Fast card. So I don't think there's anything too crazy so far. The Texas Smash, that All My card, might be something worth looking up to see the price of but as of right now i'm still recording <laughs> i just like like panic check to make sure i hit the record button on my like big main camera okay are these all the same back yeah i don't like the i don't like the design for this i wish it said like you know my hero or had the my hero logo but other than that you know the art for these looks pretty pretty cool i'm into it so far there's a todoroki card naval laser cannon create bow staff Destined for the mainstream success. Missouri Smash and an instant shining flash. So what did you guys think since we're, you know, on the topic of My Hero Academia or watching me open cards, we're trying to make the video like somewhat entertaining. What did you guys actually think of My Hero Academia season five with the My Villain arc and the Endeavor training arc switched around? We talked about it a ton back when My Villain Academia was going on. But since, you know, you've had some time to sit on it and think on it, make sure, let me know what you thought overall about the My Villain Academia arc or just season five of My Hero Academia in general. Looking back, you know, we definitely had some criticisms that we talked about on the videos back then. But like, just overall, it wasn't like the absolute worst thing in the world. It wasn't as great, you know, as it could have been. Bones Studio definitely looks like they were focusing on other projects. And they were, My Hero franchise was mainly focusing on the movie that's coming out, which comes out tomorrow as I'm recording this. So that's pretty crazy. Also, speaking of the movie, which comes out tomorrow, did you guys get tickets? Are you excited to go see it? I'm probably going to go check it out at some point this weekend. So once we go see that, we'll also do a video about the My Hero Academia movie. Like I really like the artwork on the front of this pack. This just looks so cool. And that's really why I do the second channel because I collecting is something that like I've been into for a while. It's good for like, you know, mental health. It's something fun you can do. And it, it's just, it's, it's a really exciting, like going out and finding something cool to, to put in the collection. I also go to like thrift stores and garage sales to kind of find things that I'm interested in for like super dirt cheap. That's actually one of my favorite things. This looks pretty cool. Ooh, Blitz Rush. Sweet. It just ranges from everything from anime and manga stuff, cards, retro video games, all that jazz. And it's it's a really, really fun hobby. So if that's something you're into, make sure to let me know and we can get to talking about it. We'll talk about like, you know, things we each collect <laughs> down there. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, make sure and hit the like button. We'll see if we get anything cool in this pack. I skipped a card there. Wall cling, engine rush, and a short circuit card. I actually kind of like that. So it looks like we got how many more packs? We got four more packs we're going to open. If you guys are into this, like I said, make sure smash the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you're not yet and turn on all the notifications because YouTube makes it like literally impossible really for you to follow your favorite creators they push recommended now more than like what you actually subscribe to because they like make you like not only hit a button to like subscribe to it, which is common you know for social media but you have to hit notifications and then all notifications to even like get something on your phone the little like touchdown screen of like hey somebody posted a video that i like Ooh, there we go indiscriminate shock 103 million volts so that is pretty cool looking i like that a lot three more packs three more packs let's there's a couple of cards that i'll probably put on the screen again just a refresher of like you know what we're looking for what we're going to get into with this my hero academia card opening i hope you guys are liking this i know it's a little different than like you know my usual super edited kind of upbeat like <laughs> energetic videos but every now and then i like to kind of like sit back and do something like this and i've made a few on the channel before that didn't really do that well but i'm hoping 
you know, since this one's kind of more topical for things that we've discussed on the channel, maybe it'll do a little better and we can do some more of these in the future because I, this is some of my favorite stuff like to do is to collect. I watch like Pokemon card opening videos on YouTube all the time. I don't know if anybody else out there, <laughs> Shota, I love that card. That's cool art. Anybody else out there gets into that kind of stuff, but that is the kind of thing. That's a really cool card too. I'm into. So what do you guys think of these cards? Do you like the artwork on this? Are you gonna like maybe get some of these? If so, let me know down below. Last pack, and like I said guys, remember, the my second channel, which you can get to in Featured, is gonna have the second half of this box opening on that channel. So make sure and go subscribe over there, or just check it out, you don't have to subscribe. I mean, it would be appreciated. It's mainly just for fun over there, but you know, you know, the more, you know, if people are getting really into it and want to check that out, I would be more inclined to post more over there. Okay, that was pretty cool. We got a pretty fat stack of cards here that we just opened. It's pretty incredible, actually, to look at this, and we just realized we just busted through all of these cards. That was pretty fun. But if you guys like that, like I said, make sure you hit the like button. I am going to get out of here. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace.